Hello and welcome back to the spaceship tutorial. In this section what we're going to do is we're going to take the UV maps that we created, bring them into Photoshop, and create a texture file that we can use to texture our ship. So let's go ahead and get started. What I'm going to do is open up Photoshop and open up the one of the UV textures that I created. So I'll start with the first one here, this top view. And what I was going to do is just put like a, a number on the top here. doesn't have to be anything fancy. And then a stripe across here. And uh, I'm just doing a little bit of texture in here just to kind of complete that part of the tutorial so you'll know what I did to get there. But of course you can go a little bit more in depth and just, you know, do whatever you want to on the texturing. So I'm going to go into, and I'm using Photoshop. Of course you can use GIMP or whatever uh, graphics program that you're comfortable with. So I'm going to the text tool and I'm just going to pick, uh, I'm going to use the Alien Encounters font. See if I can put a number here. And I don't want yellow. Okay. And I got it as uh, large as, as it will go there. So I'm just going to use the uh, manipulation tool here and shift drag this. A nice big number there and just move it um, actually I need it over here because this is the front viewport part okay and I'm going to use this tool here Oop, apply that transformation and I'm going to use the rectangle tool and I'm going to make this red I'm just going to bring a, like a red stripe right through the middle of this ship here. And that's pretty much all I'm going to do on this view. So now I'm going to turn off my UV layer so I just have the texture and do a save as. And I usually go and just make a like a textures folder. I actually already have one so I'll use that. And I'm going to make it a TIFF, turn off the layers. I don't need the layers in the TIFF file. And click OK. And the reason I'm using TIFF, I, I will either use TIFF or PNG. And those both contain the alpha information, the um, transparency layer. So that's why I'm using those. OK, so we have that one. And now I'm going to open up the other one, the other UV. Okay, and I'm going to use blue this time. Same thing, rectangle tool, and I'm just going to put like a very thin stripe down here. And one here. And go ahead and put another one here. And I think I'll use yellow. And I'm just going to put like a larger block here. Oh, that's not yellow. Okay, create a new layer. Okay, and this is just like the it's going to go around that uh, rocket engine part and then you can put some other things in there. I think one of the things I thought about doing is just to see what it would look like. Let me do a new layer first. Is um, I have sort of like a uh, just a outline that I've created before and I can use like a circular Hold down shift key and create a circle. Just kind of move it into place. And that'll put a line around the front of the engine part. Just to see what it looks like. Uh, the other thing is, I mean, you can you can also use this to create, like I, I made those indent lines or, or those um, 
edge loops and created some indents in the rocket engines. Of course, you can do that with textures as well. And I'm just going to turn off the UV layer here and save as. Okay, so we have our two files. And what I've done here is I'm going to go to the, um, the node editor and go full screen so you can see this. And I'm not going to go through and, you know, go through all these nodes so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'll just have a good, nice screenshot of it here so you can copy this if you need to. Um, but I've set it up so that it's going to pick up the image texture that we create and throw it onto the existing uh, materials that we, we created there and textures as well. So let me go ahead and open and actually let me cancel that. Let me make sure I'm in the right area here. Yep, I have my main body and my ship selected. That's another thing that um, I kind of neglected to mention is with the, um, I got the main body and I created a material for that and also you need a material for your rockets. Because what I did originally is I put it on the main body and of course it, it uh, put the texture on the rockets as well because I used the same material. So you just want two separate materials for that. So let's go back in here and I'm going to open my texture and I want the main texture on this one and same on this one. Okay, and now I'm going to select the rocket engines, come in here and do the same thing except for this one, of course. And select the engine texture that I made. Okay, I think that hopefully will do it. So let's go into rendered, see what it looks like. Okay, so this is how it's rendering out. I do have the number up there. Uh, I have my red stripe and my stripes across here. And you can play with these values. I mean, I'm not an expert in the node editor at all. It's just a very steep learning process, learning curve for me. So um, I know you guys out there, you probably, a lot of you have a lot better idea on how to use that than I do. But that, ba that basically takes us through the tutorial. What I would like to see, though, is um, is how you what you know what you've come up with if you follow this tutorial all the way through, and if you created your own spaceship. If you would um, comment, post a link, subscribe, all that good stuff, I'd be interested to see what you came up with. And thanks again for following this tutorial.